Hey, how's it going guys? So today I have this free will versatile magnetic variable ND system, VNVN, that's what I call it. Currently underneath this variable ND filter, I have a base filter. This is actually a 1A power mist filter with one stop ND. This gives you beautiful highlight halation. And even during the day, you can put an ND filter and still get that mist glowy effect. It looks like someone turned on the smoke machine for the entire world now this is a almost a perfect system I, I say almost because there's a couple drawbacks or usage hindrance i should say so today i'm gonna show you three hacks that you can apply to this to make this even more perfect or even like up your creative game a little bit so let's go first let's talk about why this is a almost perfect system well i love the fact that you can have a variable nd filter that basically comes off but you're still left with one stop nd filter with the mist in it and that is the base plate that goes in here which sometimes when you're indoors you have to remove it because you're still getting that one stop of nd or better scenario if you're filming a wedding let's say like a photographer wants to take a picture in front of a window everybody facing the camera away from the window yeah, great, great for pictures but for video with the the mist filter it might be too strong of a bat light which case you're gonna have to take this off and don't drop so hopefully you don't drop it but you need a good place to put this and i tell you your pocket is not a good place to put this probably because you probably had that bubble tea frequently buy your car you left it in your pants before you washed it so it's all messed up and linty in there so pocket is not it now freewall vmvn does ship with this really really nice cool leathery pouch that you can organize all your ND elements. However, unless your pocket's so deep, this does not fit in your pocket. So you leave this on top of the table and I'm guaranteeing you, you're gonna forget that. So what do I do? Solution is that. And no, I do not have a stone cold magnetic heart. It's because I have a homemade magnetic cardboard plate that basically goes inside my inner shirt pocket. So if you're wearing like an undershirt with a pocket, yeah, this fits in perfectly. So all I really have is a cardboard with this really strong magnet. There's a double-sided tape behind it. It's really simple to make, right? So I just pad it with the cardboard. So this not only works for the base ND filter that you just need to quickly put it away, but also works with the outer variable ND filter too. And it also is a very, very good protection if you have a lot of immature friends. <laughs> Bob, you're 35 years old, man. You gotta stop doing that. All right, before I get to hack number two, I gotta show you something real quick. So I mentioned that the base ND has a one stop of ND already in it, right? But what's beautiful about Freewell filter system is the fact that the regular original mist filter does fit inside the versatile ND system perfectly. So that goes in there. Now you don't have the base ND of one and this is a 1 8 mist filter exactly same as this. So you can continue to shoot indoors, but there's a problem. Unlike the base filter system where there's a little notch, you can actually pick on it with your nail and you can take it out real fast. The original mist filter, yeah, there's no notch there. So it's, you have very hard time taking this out. So what do you do? You take the magnetic lens cap from the VMVM and put it over and that basically takes out the whole thing. That way you can put back your base ND filter possibly. Now you might be thinking like, well duh, say I knew that because every time I do that it keeps coming out. So really the hack is the reverse. So if I had this original mist filter without the ND, the real usage really is to reverse the cap and put it as the lens cap because if you do that, it actually doesn't take it out. So right side in, takes it out, inside out, doesn't take it out. Now hack number three still has to do with this lens cap, which is very, very versatile. They mean it. So this lens cap, as you guys saw, it is very reflective. Kind of reminds you of something like this. Now when I do like a concert photography, I always carry around a DVD or CD. Problem with no one uses a CD anymore. So I have a very hard time finding that sometimes. But in your pocket or in your backpack, you have this always because I bring this filter system everywhere I go. So what you could essentially do is to get a photo like this, 
I just take the lens cap and do the similar moves with this to get the same effect. And essentially, if you have a longer focal length, this works really, really well. And not only that, this Freewell logo is actually see-through. And to get this really, really dreamy effect where your eyes are like kind of halfway closed, you could put the lens cap on and film through it to get that effect. And I know that's like super niche, but the fact that this is a tool that you always have with you makes it a super cool thing. All right, so since that's super niche, let me just do a one more bonus. Bonus hack. So let's say that I screw this on real tight. Now this is an 82 millimeter versatile ND system. I have like a step up ring. This is 67 millimeter step up ring. So let's say I tighten this real tight. I'm just gonna like, oh man, I'm already regretting this. All right, so when I take this off, what's gonna end up happening is that step up ring is gonna be stuck there pretty good. Yeah, even with that little notches, like I cannot take this off. What do you do? No, do not call Bob for his plumbing tools. All you really need is like an old mouse pad, right? So back of the mouse pad is this rubber piece and all I gotta do is just, oh, that makes it so much easier. Yeah, and it came right off. So guys, these tips will basically make this system just perfect because yeah, I cannot think of a better system than this for mist filters and variable ND. So this is awesome. Now I didn't do a full review on this because there are like so many full reviews out there, but basically the original version they sent out for like all the reviews for YouTubers, they had this like really, really strong like flare, which they got rid of on this retail version. But if you guys want to look at the sample footage out of this, that's a retail version. Yeah, I have a wedding video. The full video is shot with this, minus the drone shot. I think obviously the drone shot doesn't have this filter on. You can, You guys can imagine that, but just a disclaimer, because you know, we all do it. And since you made it to the end of this video, guys, um, there is a giveaway in my last video. Just saying, like I don't actually announce that I have a giveaway, but that last video, yeah. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this was really helpful. Give it a little thumbs up if you learned something new. Until next time, guys, stay misty. Okay guys, magnetic challenge. So how strong is this magnet? Yeah, it's staying there. I don't recommend like running with this outdoors and like gravel or like rocks, but indoors, yeah, this is yeah, secure enough.